Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody. Cleaning up the Ranger, taking it back over to Power Sports, and gonna pick up our new Skag lawnmower. I'm extremely excited about two things. I can't believe that it is early April and the grass is growing like crazy, and I've never had a Skag lawnmower. It's gonna cut down the time that we cut, which means more time to fish. Tell you what, we're going to do something I have not done in years. We're going over to Beaver Dam Lake and we're going to hook up with Terry and he is an avid fisherman. What him and I have in common is I love to eat bullheads. Yeah, my dad, we fished a lot of bullheads and catfish. I just like the looks of them. They're so damn cool. You know, they got so many different patterns on them. Got one biting right here. Tell you what, I just missed a nice one on the other one. Just I let them kind of take it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Feels like a good one. Oh, yeah. Now that's a good bullhead right there. They get bigger, but this is, to me, is a great size to start off as far as eating. You know, here's the, the misconception about catfish and bullheads. A lot of people think that the whiskers here are the stingers. These are not the stingers. And it's really what happens is that basically it's their pectoral fins right here and their dorsal fin that the stingers are in. It's actually just a sharp bone. So this is the stinger right here. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, oh, look at this pole. Look at this pole. Oh, 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 oh yeah, baby. Woo. Hey, Terry, I tell you what, you worried? Oh, he come off too. God, stinker. Why are you getting so excited about coming out and fishing bullheads? Honestly, you guys, yeah, I'm very excited about doing this because it kind of brings me back about child memories. And again, bullheads are awesome to fish. They're awesome to catch and they're awesome to eat. That bait didn't even hit the, to hit the water and it's already, <laughs> holy man. I mean, you just turned around and he absolutely slammed it. Oh, you're on your other line too, I think. There's no, there's a must be a fish on there, Terry. Him, Larry. Yep, okay. Yeah, I seen your line going forward yep. like this, you guys, and that's something you got to watch. It's coming in, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And you got to bite on yours, too. I can't believe, I mean, as soon as it got dark, these fish, <laughs> you said it was going to happen that way, too. Oh, it's probably the biggest one so far. Oh. You should go with my granddaughter's, Larry. Really <laughs> keep you busy. Wow. See, that's what I'm saying. You know what? Yeah. You get the right night, there's a lot of action. You know, who would not want to come out and do this? You're crazy. And I love the way Terry's got this set up in here. He's got a slider sinker on there. How, how heavy is this sinker, Terry? Half ounce. Half ounce? So he's got Power Pro here, you know, super braid. What'd you say, 10 pound test? Uh, 620. Oh, 620, he's got, so, yep. Yellow. Six like pound, six pound diameter, 20 pound test. Okay, yellow, so it's high vis, so you can see it. This is a great way to do it, like he's saying. And he's got a snap on here, so that stops the sinker. And like he's saying, what he's using is he's using these snells, so they already, you buy them, they're already tied up, and Eagle Claw is one of the manufacturers of them. And then if they break off or something happens, your hook gets dull, all you gotta do is unclip it right here, like that, okay? And you're ready. Put a new one on, you're ready to go. And you know, any rod, you know, Medium action rod, medium light is what perfect, huh? Yeah. yeah. You don't need to have a, a big heavy rod yeah, for yeah. so they can when they grab that bait they can move back and forth before they actually inhale it all the way in. So, but what I do is I hold them like this and I'm pushing the pectorials forward, okay? So they can't get me. And then the dorsal on the back, you see how I have my my hand right here, and what I do is I. See how that just fits in there perfectly, the crease in my hand? So I push down on it. I got full control over these fish. So I, you have nothing to worry about. So basically how I like to hook the crawler, and I saw Terry doing it the same way, is you're kind of threading it on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the head of it, go through like that. I'm gonna go down about an inch, wrap it like that again, and just kind of keep weaving it on there. And I'm gonna just leave the tail hang out so it sits there when it's in the water and just kind of goes back and forth, that's what's gonna entice them to bite right there. Holy man. Literally, it's been one after another. As soon as it got dark, 
And again, that's what Terry said, hey, as soon as it gets dark, don't worry. That's what I love, I love the bites, how different they are. Some of them just barely tap it, other ones just will pull the rod right in. It's nice to have the rod holders too that keeps them tips up like that. Plus, sometimes they bite so hard they'll rip that rod and drag it right in. To be put through this abuse of bullhead fishing. I just baited that one up with the cut shad. This one I'm gonna use the baby shad. See if I can catch a couple a little bit bigger bullheads. Run that hook through like that. I went to check the bait and the fish was just hanging on there. What is the limit on bullheads now? There, there is none. There's none on Beaver Dam? That's crazy, because I think on Winnebago system, I think it's 25. So you gotta definitely check out what lake you're fishing. But I would say, you know, if you come out and catch 20, 25, that's more than enough to clean. You know, the old days, we used to skin everything. You know, you'd put like a nail, put a, a nail through their head and put them on a board. Then you take your knife and cut around like this, around the body like this, and then you take a pliers and you would pull the skin off. And I'm telling you, it was a lot of work. Now, it's, you're not wasting any meat, it's just so much easier, and we'll show everybody how you clean these. They're super simple to clean, and we'll definitely show you how to, to, to cook them. Um, they're absolutely, like I said, over and over, they're delicious. Hey, Terry, thank you very much for inviting us out here. You know what? Yeah. Bullheads are excellent eating, yeah. and they're fun to catch, and what a great way, if you have kids, to get them out and to get them hooked on fishing because typically there's a lot of action and we saw that, holy uh -huh. moly. When it got dark, it was like one after <laughs> another. So you know what, instead of sitting home watching TV all the time, get outdoors, bring your friends, bring your family, bring your kids and enjoy the outdoors. Let me tell you, bullheads in the old days, they were something to clean. But in the 20th century, the cleaning of bullheads have come a long ways, very simple. No more taking a nail, driving it through their head, cutting around the head, and then pulling the skin back. That took time. And you know what? It's so easy just to clean them like you would any other fish. Hey everybody, if you're looking for a great table for cleaning fish, for having a picnic on, for basically any outdoor needs, you definitely want to check out the new stainless table by Open Country. This thing is absolutely awesome, super durable, and it just comes in so, it's just so handy in so many different ways. I love to keep it in the back of my truck. Um, always cleaning fish, always cooking things on it, uh, and it cleans up so easily. Hey, if you're looking at buying one of these great stainless steel tables, check out Back 40 Gear. They've got a lot of really cool products. Check them out. Now I cleaned these two different ways. I did, and we're gonna cook them with the skin on or the skin off, and we'll let you guys decide what is better. Skin on, just roll them around. A little magic seasoning in here. Hey, the great part about these charred deep fryers are basically, like I like the double fryer because I can have fish going on one side and fries on the other and they're done at the same time basically. And the other part is that you'll take it up to 340 to 370 and once it gets there, it stays at that, that heat. The bullheads are done, boy, they look good too. All right, let's give these bullheads a, a little try here. Now, th this one's got the skin on. Now, it's been a lot of years since I've had bullheads. Mm, it's hot. Oh yeah. Woo! Hey, I'll tell you what, if you don't believe that bullheads are really good eating, why don't you take one evening and take your friends or a family member or maybe just a neighbor kid and go do a little night fishing for bullheads. Hey, thanks for joining us again this week. If you wanna check out our clothing, you gotta really go to our website and check out our Larry Smith Outdoor clothing. We'd love to have you guys wearing it. So you can check out the information down below. We wanna make sure we thank all of our military men and women for the great service that they give this country. And remember, as of today, we still are living in the greatest country in the world. And no doubt, it is a great day to be alive, and we'll see you next week. The protection they give this country and for their duty, and I don't know what I'm saying, I'm freaking tired.
We got, what do you even more do? Wait, I'll do it, okay. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Are you happy? You happy now? 